Hi everybody and welcome back to the Little Miss Funeral YouTube channel. My name is Lauren, I'm also known as Little Miss Funeral and I'm a licensed funeral director in New York. So for today's video I wanted to talk about a very important question and that was how do you know you are using or choosing the correct funeral home? There are so many different funeral homes out there and I know that we're always trying to distinguish ourselves as the best, the best people, the best directors, the best service, the best merchandise and it can be a little overwhelming. It can especially be overwhelming for families when they have to decide what funeral home to work with when they lost a loved one, whether it was expected or unexpected. If your loved one never did any sort of pre-planning or pre-arrangements telling you ahead of time what funeral home they wanted to go to. And yes, that is a real thing that can happen. People can pre-plan this out and decide who they want to work with ahead of time. But if that does not happen and you are faced with choosing a funeral home, how do you know that you're choosing a reputable one and one that is going to do a good job? There are so many factors that go into choosing a funeral home, location being one of them. I know so many people who choose a funeral home based on where it is located and whether or not it's close and convenient for them to get to. Although location is a very important factor, I personally do not think that it is the most important factor when choosing a funeral home, especially in today's day and age where families live all over the place. It's not like when my father grew up and all of his aunts lived on the very same street. Uh, he was always with his cousins and they had a very tight-knit family life just because everybody was together. In today's day and age, people live everywhere. People live all over the country and all over the world. So a lot of times when a death does occur, travel is a very important factor to consider because we have to wait to get people in so that we could actually have the services that the family wants to have. Another important factor when choosing a funeral home is price. Although I also personally don't think that price is the most important factor. Every single funeral home can choose what their services cost. Because each funeral home can choose what their prices for their services are, those can definitely range from door to door and from facility to facility. For example, in my community, if a family chooses direct cremation, that can range from about $500 to closer to $4,000 based on the funeral home establishment that a family chooses to work with. Just like everything, there are people who can shop around because you might get similar services at different funeral homes but their price points may completely differ from one another. Now, as a professional within the industry, I've worked on both ends of the spectrum. I've worked for a funeral home that, in my opinion, has charged quite a lot of money for the services that they are providing. But if you use that funeral home, you are really getting directors that care. You're getting a funeral home that looks beautiful, hearses that are brand new, and everything is very high quality. So for some people, they may think to themselves, well, yes, in that situation, you are getting what you're paying for because you are paying a lot of money for the services, but everything is being done so well and as it should. But once again, I've also worked for funeral homes in which the price point was a lot lower than other ones and the facilities are still beautiful, the people who work there still care, and the service that you're getting is just as good as that high price point. So once again, I don't always think that price should be a determining factor. Obviously, there are some instances where people don't have life insurance, they don't have savings, and price really does depend on what funeral home they're going to be using. But if you don't have any pre-arrangements and if you do shop around, which you can do at the time of a passing, you can call funeral homes and ask what their prices are going to be for a certain service. From those phone calls, you should be able to tell obviously how much that funeral service is going to cost, but it brings me to my other point, which in my opinion is the most important thing when choosing a funeral home, and that is the relationship that you have with those funeral professionals. So yes, when choosing a funeral home, I think the most important thing to choose is really based on the relationship that you have with the people that are working there. And I know relationship might be a weird term to use because in my mind that explains a scenario in which you've spent a lot of time with people, you've really gotten to know them, but you are able to develop a weird intimate relationship with families even if you're only serving them for three to four day time span because you are invited into their grief and because you're invited into their world during a very 
horrible and grief-stricken time, you get to see a side of them that they don't really show people in their day-to-day -day lives. You get to see that very intimate side, and because of that, you develop a very personal relationship with them. When you call a funeral home, you shouldn't just feel like another number. You shouldn't have to feel like you're bothering the person who's answering the questions on the other line. You should feel that the people that you're talking to just on the phone conversation really do care about what they're doing. You should feel a sincerity in their voice and not like you're bothering them. Yes, in the background you might hear the noises of their everyday life, like their dog barking and uh, the sound of their families, but you should still be able to hear that care and that compassion into their voice. When you walk into the funeral home, you should be able to feel the warmth, the, the compassion that they have, and that care that they really do care about what they do, and they really are there to help make your time a lot easier. And it may be difficult to choose a funeral home based on relationship if you've never had to do a funeral service before, if you've never had to make funeral arrangements before. And like I said, if you don't feel comfortable on the phone with them, you're probably not going to feel comfortable sitting down and in person with them. And even if you do end up making an arrangement with them and going in a meeting with them, and even if you do the entire services and you're sitting down and making the arrangements and at the end of that service you don't feel comfortable, you can still choose a different funeral home. Now you very well will have to pay that funeral home for the work that they've already done. For instance, if they've already picked up your loved one, you will owe them money for doing that removal or transfer service. If there's an embalming, you would probably owe them money for that as well. But you always are in control and you always can choose who you are going to work with. An amazing way to know that you're picking a good funeral home is if you talk with your friends and your families about funeral homes that they've worked with in the past. Word of mouth is the biggest advertisement when it comes to funeral service. If a funeral home did something wrong, you're going to know about it because the family and the friends of the people that those directors were serving are going to talk about it. And if a funeral home did everything the right way as they should, those family and friends are going to say how these directors in this funeral home made the funeral service and made the arrangement conference so much easier for them than they ever thought it could go. That's what's so important about talking about the funeral home that you're using. That's what's so important about having these conversations because it's such a delicate time that you definitely want to work with somebody who's going to respect you while also hopefully providing a good price point for the services that they're looking to have as well. For those of you who are watching this video who have lost a loved one, what were the deciding factors when you chose a funeral home? I'm very interested to hear your side of everything and what made you call the certain funeral home or maybe repeatedly call them if you've lost numerous people in your life. So please put that in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all next time.